Hey guys and girls, it's Bad Boy Ants here, and today I've found a brand new product that hasn't even been released yet. I know, how crazy. So these are testers. They come from Collectible Fulcariums. That's right, a guy named Pete has started his own nest with the 3D printer and has asked me to test these nests out. Now that is awesome. Thank you, Pete, so much. Big shout out to you, mate. If you guys want to find these nests, they will be in the details below on Pete's Instagram, which will be collectible for Macariums. So here we go. First off, we got the sandbox. The sandbox is the bigger outworld to where your ants can play. That's right. They, these are the entrance here. One, two. As you can see, this is why they're called connectable for aquariums. Every end has a connection. So you got one, two, flip it over, three, four. Now, as you can see, it's got, where the connections are here, it's got a ramp running up into the middle here. Now, you fill this area up for, with sand. He does have newer ones in this. This is just a tester and he has already upgraded this. He has a flat bottom now. At the moment, it's just a half circle here where the ants run up through the entrance and then down into the sandbox. But like I said, he's already fixed this. He's made a flat platform across the top here from entrance to entrance across the top, which is awesome. This is the water feeder. You fill this up with water. You put this sponge in the end, what comes with it. Then there's sponges inside here in the sandbox. This is awesome. Sponges right in there. And you just throw this test tube on it with the water. Now I reckon that was a bloody beautiful idea. Good on you Pete mate. All right. So the next one, so that's the sandbox guys, and it's got each connection on, which each part fits on, which I will show you at the end. All right, so now we've got the vertical nest. This is a good product, nice 3D printed. It's got entrance, entrances on every side again. These just slide up, there goes the lid. And look at the detail inside. It's got rocks, 3D printed rocks inside there. It's got the nice grip running around the outside, all the way up like a ramp, all the way up to the top. The top has a nice hydration area. You put a few drops in there. Look, you've got even indents where meteoroids hit. I'll say that, it sounds cool. Where you can put your honey, your cricket legs, and don't forget to hydrate the nest. So this will pop on. He hasn't got a cover yet, but he is making one. So just keep an open mind with that. But how cool is that? I cannot wait to get ants in these testers. It's going to be awesome. So now I'll put this one to the side and we'll go to the small outworld. That's right, this is a small outworld. Entrances on each side, which is awesome. The lid, nice soft acrylic, see-through, clear as. So we'll take the lid off, we'll have a sneaky peek inside. All right, so there's the inside. It's got a few 3D printed rocks, a little bit of a log there looks like, where, like I said, you can put your honey and that in there. So that's cool. So you obviously just put some fluorine around the side so they can't get out and the lid just pops on like so. Now, you're probably thinking, what are these yellow things? Well, you fill your test tube up, you can have it for your six, it has to be 16 millimeters. You can put your extra hydration in or water, or you can, Grab your 16 millimeter pipe, tubing pipe, what fits in easy. Which you can run it to another one of your liking. As you can see, these are all connectable. That's what I like. See that? Slide straight on. Awesome. All right, so we'll go to the next one. Next one is the massive hydrating water feeder. How cool is this? Connections on every side again. I love it. You fill this beautiful thing, tube up with water, the sponge in, and there's a massive sponge inside. I think there's two sponges inside, which that just fits on like so. 
and drains drains in to the massive sponge. Like I said, you can connect them on. Look at this, straight on. Boom, easy as. I love it. All right, so we'll go to the next one. What do we got left? We have, I'll take this off, and we have the small nest. That's right, look at the small nest in here. It's got the hydration. It's got the nice, it's got aerators down the bottom. We're ready in the nest. And look at the design inside. Nice 3D printed. Which I love. And like I said, let's connect her up. Here we go. Look, connect straight on to the sandbox fits straight on perfectly and then if I'm not using these sides here I can put the blockers in one blocker and the spare blockers too which he provides two blocker now what do you guys think about this I love it all because you can just keep adding on look with this sandbox with this sandbox here I can have the small the water feeder Got the sandbox, two more entrances. I can have another nest on the outside here and another one outworld right here. With, I'll have the white bit sticking out for another water feeder. How cool is that, guys? I just can't believe it. Peter has nearly thought of everything with here. We all know we like to re keep connecting our nests together and make them bigger and bigger. And how cool is this? I can make a massive maze with all his products. He's got heaps of products out there. And I mean heaps. Don't forget to check him out on Instagram. The details will be below. I hope you guys like this product. I cannot wait to put my ants in it. I will have a review on my ants in there. But don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub. This is Bad Boy Ants. I'll catch you later.